Consumer Protection and Assistance Organizations to help you make informed decisions for your family. So how prevalent are these complaints? Well, you know, I've been doing consumer advocacy work and reporting for almost 20 years, and I will tell you, I get hundreds of emails and and calls from, from viewers or readers. It's prevalent. I mean, people don't, it's confusing, and mm -hmm. nowadays everything's automated, so you, you can't get through to real it's people. Familiar. It's frustrating, unless you're super educated on this, it's hard to know where to go. First thing I do when I make a phone call and I hear the thing, I immediately press zero. Yeah. Just hoping that it goes right to an operator. And then if and it I doesn't, it. you so, just start banging yeah, the zero. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. You still have to wait 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. You just put it down and you do other chores. Right. Yeah. So, right. so how can you protect yourself from you know, uh, consumer pitfalls? And there are many. There are so many consumer pitfalls. I have picked four of the agencies that I think are excellent for consumers. They're all free for resources for people. The first one is the National National Association of Consumer Advocates. These are lawyers across the country that have worked very hard to change laws, to give extra protection to consumers. And on their website, it's kind of like whatever your consumer complaint is, they're going to have it like if it's a cell phone problem, like cell phones 1A, you know? I mean, everything that you need to know about how you can protect yourself, what your rights are, and what they could legally go after you for. It explains in layman's terms what a consumer needs to know. From there, it gives you resources resources like websites to kind of you know guide you in a direction and what I like is they give you resources for attorneys in your area that specialize in that particular type of consumer you know complaint mm -hmm. for example if it's auto fraud or debt which are common you know sure. across the country well we get free lunch here right. there's not a lot of free things in this <laughs> yeah. world right yeah. but there are places you can go to get some advice yeah, good free, advice free yes advice. very you want good free advice so the consumer action I love this organization. They're based out of D.C. When I've been reporting over the years, I've used them as a resource. They are all about referrals and advice. They have real people working there, and what you can do is you can call their phone number. Now, their phone number has a particular area code up north, but it, you could call from anywhere in the country, mm -hmm. um, and you can either email them or leave a message let them know what state you're in, what your problem is, and they will research the laws in that state for you. I mean, that's that's really wow. taking it a step further yeah. and let you know what your rights are, what you can do. Their hotline is is excellent, and they deal with just about every single consumer issue or problem you could possibly have. Consumer Action is an excellent, excellent organization for consumers to have in your back pocket. They're the people you want to call when you are just hitting a wall and frustrated and don't know where to go. So, so what do we do as consumers to help, uh, where do we go to help facilitate changes? Okay, so um, what you could do for this is uh, Consumer Union, which is actually the policy and the action kind of arm to Consumer Reports, which we all know Consumer Reports Magazine. Consumer Union, they have dedicated themselves to working as an advocacy arm for people across the country. And, you know, it, I think it's important that we're aware of what's going on in our mm -hmm. states and in our country with in regards to trying to change laws if you're having an issue with something you should go to their site and see if they're in the process of, of filing a claim or doing something to try to change a law because you can actually have a voice and participate by signing petitions or writing your testimony or whatever it might be right now they have big initiatives with you know health care issues so consumer union they're excellent for being mm -hmm. you know your voice resources out there when you're looking for a um I'll say desirable business. Mm -hmm. There's places yeah. to go for that. Yeah, I think the gold standard for that would be the Better Business Bureau. The Better Business Bureau has been around for Forever. a long time. Yeah, yeah they yeah. really have. And it's something like, you know, it's like a, a comforting blanket when you see that it's, you know, BBB accredited. Yeah. Um, and but, you always hear that too. I'm going to report you to the Better Business right. Bureau. People yeah. start yeah. shivering. Yeah, like, oh, no. oh, oh, shaking their like boots. Right? Yelp, yeah. right? <laughs> um, so it's, but it, and it works two ways with the BBB. If you have a complaint, you can contact them they will help in trying to resolve they'll you know I mean they'll kind of guide you and they also will be a good resource when you're thinking of hiring a business you know you want to find out what are the complaints that said were the complaints here's the key with the BBB is how many complaints were filed and how many of those complaints were resolved and that's the key if they've resolved all of them uh, it's, yeah. you're a little more inclined than if they resolved none yeah